Hello people of the world. Uh, I just got my Asian market delivery. It's called We. Um, I'm gonna open it right now. Well, thankful to Vanessa because she always wanted me to open, uh, you know, or to create my, U my YouTube channel and I said, I'm so sad and you know, I, I, I'm busy and all. So thanks to her, she's the one who inspired me to create the channel. Um, Vanessa, because you know of my food, you know, Vanessa XPTS. Shout out to Vanessa. She's now in Saudi with her loved one. So I'm opening now my uh, Asian box. I ordered because people here, everywhere, they're sick. Uh, my landlord is sick, my neighbor is sick, so as much as I want to go out and get some food, I think it's safer, huh? Yeah, I don't drive, we don't have a car, so I think it's also, you know, the safest, safest way to have food delivered. And you know, so I have what's this? Oh my god, this is not what I ordered. Anyway, it's a fish sauce, you know, patis. Filipinos like me would relate, you know. Uh, my dad would eat fish sauce with everything that he eats, be it a soup, a sabaw like sinigang, or um, even if it's a fried fish, he would always use patis. And we grew up using uh fish sauce but this is not what this is not what i've ordered this is like i don't know it has chili i don't know if you see that i'm not into spicy rich is into spicy food but not me i like spicy once in a while but you know i can't stand really hot food so that's there the patties and then next next uh probably i'll do a uh, a food I'm gonna make Reg a uh, talong sisig. I just made him uh, a crispy fry, no, a crispy tilapia with uh, Asian sauce, Asian gravy is really good. Um, I don't eat cilantro, but uh, well, it's all gone, so I can't show it to you. Then I have this chicken sotanghon. That's it. And then I have, of course, the champorado. Um, what else? The others are uh, wrapped with, what do you call this, rich Bubble wrap? Yeah, bubble wrap. So, it's hard to take it off. So, I'll leave it later. Okay, and then I have this Copico. Uh, I love coffee. Um, I don't know. I can... I can just drink coffee the whole day and I'll survive. So that's the coffee call. What else? What is this? Oh, the lomi noodles. I've always been wanting to cook lomi. You know, the the one, the lomi batangas. But this is really conte. It's, it's, I don't know if it would last. <laughs> Probably it's just for one eating for me and Reg or even less. Uh, this the lomi noodles. And then, of course, fish cracker. Reg loves fish crackers. Um, when we were in the Philippines, I would buy him, like, the big, big, the big, big bag. And it would last him long enough. So, there you go. We have the fish crackers there. I have to take off this bubble wrap. Hold on. Uh, let me see. And then I also have, this is the first time I'm going to have this. I should have gotten two because Reg would probably like this. Ube Champorado. He loves everything about ube. Uh, of course, the Lakami Pansit Canton. <laughs> you know, Filipinos can relate to me that, you know, you would survive a day or just at least a meal with just one of this. Me, I would just eat one of this. Sometimes I would eat it with rice. Sometimes I would eat it with bread. So there you go. I have five of those because you can only order maximum of five. And then what, what, what else do we have here? 
Oh, okay. The the firm tofu. I thought I thought it's a soap. It looks like a soap to me. It's a firm tofu. This should have been perfect with our food a while ago. The um the 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 fish with Asian gravy. It calls for a tofu, but I don't have tofu. I just ordered it. And I was expecting this on Thursday. I can't remember when did I order this. Then, of course, the mung beans. Mungo. You know, every Friday. I don't know in the Philippines if it's Friday. You would they, It's only if we cook mungo. I don't know what's with Friday. And then, of course, the salted eggs. I love this just with tomatoes and rice. That's it. That will make it a meal. A meal, rather. What else? Oh, I still have the pancit canton left. Okay, so we'll put this out here. Hello. Do you mind me? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to my imaginary friend. So, hold on. I don't know what this is. I think I know what this is. I'm sorry for the noise. It's the Chinese rice cooking wine. I love this. When we were in Alabama, I, I, you know, I always have this in my pantry. So, there you go. And then, let's keep this bubble wrap. We might need this soon. I don't know how, but... I think this is an oyster sauce. Why they wrap it so much? Hold on. I ordered from another Asian store. Uh, I haven't packed it yet, but I hope to get it soon. I'm not really expecting this until the 19th, which is today is 17th here. At like 3.07 p.m. Pacific time. So there you go. I have the oyster sauce. Uh, we love oyster sauce. You can just, it's so versatile. We can just put it everywhere. You know, not everywhere, but, you know, especially seafood. I... I got one with the with the I think it's scallop flavor and it's really good. But they don't have it and they just have a regular oyster sauce. And of course, you're not a Filipino if you don't have this in your kitchen. Bagoong shrimp paste. Shrimp shrimp paste. <laughs> I think I want I got this spicy one. You can eat this with anything. Me, I would just eat it with fried eggplant. Then put some vinegar or calamansi in there. I mean, so this is the next one. The, uh, it's only two boxes. Where's my cuchillo? Rich, did you see my cuchillo? Why are you hiding my cuchillo? Cuchillo. That's a good thing. Oh, your okay, there you go. So, on the next box, I'm going to show, show it to you people. The world. Okay, so this is the second box. Alright. Green jackfruit in brine. I would make fried chicken out of this a vegan fried chicken for ridge uh, I got two of those so that's two um, I think the other one I would put some coconut milk I don't have anchovy so I'll just you know uh, I'll figure it out um, you have to be resourceful on whatever you have in the kitchen that's what I do so let's say if the recipe calls for this and I don't have that I would find an alternate if I have, but if not, sometimes I'll just have to go without that ingredient. And it still tastes good. Right, Reg? Oh. Then I have the coconut milk. Uh, I'm not a fan of coconut milk unless it's a rice cake, but Reg is. So, 
I have to get him. It's two of those and one is dented. I don't know why. The other is a banana blossom. Uh, I made him a sisig out of this when we were in uh, Tarlac. I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do because this is in 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 in, in brine. Said. Yeah, this is what a uh, uh, fish replacement you said. Oh. Uh, the heat point replacement is the I know the what do you call that the the palm, hearts. the palm hearts. Okay, so uh, he's starting to get vegan. Well, not fully vegan. He's more of a still pescatarian diet, but I'm trying to we're trying to switch him into vegetarian. I ordered uh, onion, but I can't find it. Maybe I did not. So there you go. The banana blossom. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, cornstarch. I can't survive without cornstarch. Whenever I make bang bang shrimp or fish fingers, cornstarch is a must. Uh, then you mix it with egg. It'll make your um, food crunchy, like really crunchy and, and masala. So there you go, the cornstarch, and then, ta-da, piatos. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I know U.S. has a lot of chips, lace, Doritos, but I still prefer this. I still love this, and Rich like it too. It's a cheese flavor. Uh, I don't know. I love, we love, I love cheese. We love cheese. So here you go, and then. I have the century tuna with calamansi. Good about this is you can eat this, you know, like eat it as like this. You don't have to do anything. You just have to put it in a plate or a bowl, have some rice. That's it. And then I got two of those. And then last but not the least, I got me a bibinka. I know it's too late for Christmas season, but I've been craving for bibinka and puto bongbong forever since I moved here um, I hadn't I haven't had any of this since I left probably even years before that um, so bibinka I'm gonna try this uh, I don't know how to do it but I'll okay there's a recipe called bibinkinitas I think I have to try this I have to do this you know, just to, sometimes I would just eat food just to satisfy my cravings. And then I'm good. After that, I'll be, I'll be okay. So there you go, folks. Unboxing of the Asian goods, Asian, America, Filipino food is finished from we. W-E-E-E, -E -E, triple E. Um, you, on your first order, I'm supposed to get $20 off and then free delivery. But... You have to order within 40 days from the invite. And, you know, I was kind of stalling. And then after that, I, I you know, my 14 days had passed. And I only got 10% 10% off. No, $10 off. So, still not bad. $10 off and then free delivery. Still a good deal. And then I have my Filipino food. There you go. So, uh, don't forget. Don't uh don't forget to like subscribe whatever you want to do uh you're gonna hear from me soon so there you go happy monday to everyone and bye-bye from nevada <laughs>